Welcome back, y'all, to the season premiere of the Really Real Show. We getting knee, foot, waist deep into this <laughs> battle of the Saints is fall. Right? And Dale, I wish we had more time to discuss that guy you right, were talking right. about. <laughs> but we got to keep it moving, keep it moving as we do on the show. I'm going to ask y'all some quick hidden questions. I'm going to start with you, Miss Janelle. Okay. Why do you think it is that people aren't getting married as frequently or as soon as they were, say, in our parents' day and age in the 60s and 70s? I just think for me, I think people just have lost the whole entire respect of union, the union of marriage as a whole and what it represents. You know, people want to partake in the benefits of marriage without the commitment. Exactly. Yeah, how do you feel about that, girl? I agree. I really feel like people are too comfortable. Like, you know how they say, don't don't get the milk without the cow? What they say? Yeah, don't something buy like that. Yeah, so whatever the saying is. Right. I feel like, and it's more so, I do believe, I, I would blame the women for allowing the men to be comfortable. They are okay with shacking up. They are okay with, as long as they have that man, they're not holding him to the expectations of getting married. So I just feel that people are, they just, they're getting too comfortable with shacking up. All right, I, I agree with both of y'all, absolutely. I do, people don't respect marriage anymore. Let's, let's get, how about chivalry? Does chivalry still exist nowadays, you know? It depends on who you talk about. It, it is really how you raise your child. Like some, I've had kids tell me chivalry's dead. And then you have some who are respect. I'm surprised when a person opened my door now. And it's not supposed to be like that. Like, I'd be like, oh, the shoe, you know? I'm excited. So, chivalry is definitely dead. It's struggling. I think chivalry does still exist just because I am a hopeless, optimistic romantic. You know, and I, I do agree it should not be a surprise from a woman or a male to pull out a chair and know that that's appropriate to do or know that they're not a punk because they're doing it or they'll lose their cool or swag points. So, I think that it definitely still exists, but again, that's where those expectations and that respect for that relationship comes into yeah. play and upbringing, like you said. I personally take extreme pride in being chivalrous. Honestly, dead <laughs> serious. I open up doors for, for, for ladies at whatever age, you know, and things of that nature, but I personally take pride in being chivalrous. So women, real quick, look here. <laughs> there are still some good men, black men, Absolute out there. Men. Black men. Point blank, period. Real men. And take if it. they don't have it, you can bring it. I wait at the door. I will stand, stop at the door, right. stand and wait for somebody to open it. So bring chivalry to your relationship. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got a quick break coming right back at you. But when we come back, we're going to get into some really real Battle of the Sexes trivia game between, yes, the, yes. between the forum guests here. We we'll be right back, y'all. Stay right there. All right, y'all, welcome back to The Really Real Show. Yeah, we still in this form. We can't get out of it. Okay. I got my lovely co-host, Miss Gail Bean, and our very special featured guest, Miss Janelle Cole, Jay-Z, Miss Everything, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, she's got plenty of nicknames out there. She had out there. So, we're going to get into this really real trivia game real quick, Let's ladies. I'm going to hit y'all with my question real quick. Okay. I know y'all know the Super Bowl was just played not too long ago. Okay. What I'm going to ask you is, who was the quarterback of the losing team for 500 make-believe points? Yeah. Oh, you know, even though I hate this team, uh, I think it's Tom Brady. You're right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. That absolutely. lets you know that we not just a pretty face down here. Exactly. We are building and we feeling ourselves. Okay. Right, I, I got to get one more question. I, I got to. I got to get my money back. I got to okay. get, oh, okay. get one more question. I, I ain't even thinking one. Let me let me come over one real quick. All right. The winning Super Bowl team's quarterback. Who is his big brother who plays in the NFL also? Hmm. Who knows siblings? Like, right. why? Who knows that? siblings, cousins, aunties? Ah. He's a very well-known player. Oh, God. That I'm did not this play game. this season. I'm stumped on this. Did not game. play. I'm not even going to lie, Gail. Oh, God. The ship might sink on this one, girl. I'm down. <laughs> all right, all right. You got it. I know I can get it. Time up. Okay, Eli Manning, New York Giants, Super Bowl MVP. His brother is I was just about to say that, y'all. You said the losing team. No, I didn't. I said the winning team's quarterback. Everybody knows Big Eli Payton, duh. Okay, no, I thought you said y'all didn't know. I knew that. I knew that. Didn't know. Know. For the record, you see how you try to flip? See, guys. Anyway, it's, too easy. Anyway, it's, too it's easy. our turn. We got one, right? Go ahead. Let's, Go ahead. let's hit it. Go ahead, yeah. Gail. Okay, so what, speaking of expectations, relationship, along yeah. that topic, still up. what female in the industry, this is a relationship industry, just recently got engaged, proposed to by her, her fiance, after 
talking for what, like seven plus years? Staying with him, living with him? Uh, I know this is on some mm. basketball wives, and oh, okay. Atlanta housewives, and California housewives. Okay. But unfortunately, I don't watch those shows. Okay. So, so you take me on the answer. I mean, mean you're being real. Uh, so you're being real. You're being real. You don't know the answer. Uh, <laughs> he does. No, I, I don't know. For don't the know. record, the answer is Chrissy Jones, Jim Jones' fiance. Oh, okay. Jones. I was going to say Jim Jones, but it's I, yeah, it's cool. It's I don't cool. watch the shows either. <laughs> I, got, I got a question. Oh, okay. let's hit it. Let's hit it. What famous basketball player nickname is Superman? Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Y'all already that's know. If y'all don't know, it's LA all day. Oh, so you I'm know I know. You know. I forgot. Come on now. Give me some of that talk. Give me some of that talk. If one don't know what the other one got, right? Because that's how women work. Let's do that. We gonna gang up on me. My man West last night. He got me out here to call. Man, it's a trivia question. It's all. In conclusion, it's the really real show, and the women keep it real. Let's do it. So we'll be right back. <laughs> we back. Season premiere. The really real show with John and Wes. Very special new co-host, Gail Bean. Yeah. Very, very special feature guest, Mrs. Janelle Cole. We still in our form going in on this relationship. Battle of the sexes. Y'all know how it go. We're going to get into our, maybe what I thought was our, would be our best question, our best topic. It's, a, it's love. And I'm going to not put that in so general, break it down a little bit. Do you ladies believe in being in love or do you believe in love at first sight? Y'all can take either one of those and, and jump in on it. Gail, you go first. Everybody has their opinion. Mine is simple. I feel if you in love, you don't fall out. Mm. You can fall out of life. Oh. You can fall out of love. Once you in love with somebody, you in love with them. Period. Wow. So even it's, it's been times that I myself have loved, but I was not in love. Mm-hmm. How about you, Miss Chanel? Um, I agree to a certain extent when it comes to love. I definitely do agree when it comes to, I would say, like at first sight. Because, again, we're only seeing sort of, we don't get an opportunity to see the surface of a person until we sort of engage in those sort of conversations with people. Mm-hmm. So I think you can be in like at first sight. Um, in terms of in love as well, I do feel like, when you really truly genuine love somebody and you are in love with somebody, like you said, you never really tend to fall out of love. I think you can fall out of like, or I can think you also can be in love with a person, but not like them very well. Yes, if that makes true. sense. That but is. right. Yes. And I think for me, uh, a good friend of mine who I love to pieces, I won't say any names to put them <laughs> on blast, but I think they really sort of, um, put it really plain and simple when it comes to love and what is love. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they said that love is perfection. I mean, and it's all simple, perfect words. We always sort of want to complicate it. But when you think about uh, your belief system and who you sort of believe in as a creator, that agape love, love is perfection. People are not perfect. Yes, But true. love in its true essence is perfection. I, I hadn't I quite know. heard it put that way. And I, I, like, both, I like both yeah, of those I answers. Yeah, I, I really agree. do. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Me personally, I'm still... Kind of con- not confused necessarily, but don't really know about the in love factor. Mm-hmm. I believe you can love somebody to death. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm still not concrete 100% on the in sure love. on being in love. And when you know you're in love, I don't know. But as far as the love at first sight, I agree totally with what you said. It could be like at first sight. Right. I have had that feeling numerous mm-hmm. times. I disagree. Um, you gotta I, fight that feeling. I disagree. I but, disagree. Uh, On the like at first sight, you, I, you, you can like at first sight. I disagree. But um, <laughs> man, that's that's we out of time, y'all. We could we sit here all day and night <laughs> talking, but we out of time, man. We gonna get right back with the really real show. We gonna hop into some of these current events, man. We yeah, gotta exactly. we gotta let y'all know what's been going on in the New Year so far, man. Y'all don't miss us. We gonna kick y'all up to speed with what's going on out here. Really real show with John and Wes and Miss Gail being our new co-host. Yes. We'll be right back. But I got to start these current events off on a sad note, man. As y'all know, one of the greatest singers in the history of singers, Whitney Houston, just passed at age 48, man. 
I'm not going to speculate on the causes or this and that. You know, everybody got their opinions, whether they be positive or negative, man. Let's just hope that her family is doing well, as well as they can possibly be doing after this situation, man. Also, Don Cornelius just passed not too long ago. And the late, great Miss Etta James passed also. But uh, let's get into some movies. Well, let's get back to the music. The music, like I said, the Grammys just passed. The Foo Fighters killed it. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. They, 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 they won four. Very good night. They won four. But I, I guess, the, the I lady guess. of the night. It, wait a minute. Before, I'm going to let the lady. Since we on the battle of the sexes, let me just go ahead and say. The lady of the night, as, as you know. Six. Yes, Foo Fighters won, what, hey, four? Yeah. But Adele took home six. True six. indeed. Six. That's impressive. A clean sweep. Sweet. She took it away for the women. Hey. Shout out to my boy Lil Wayne took home nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, oh, shout out to Chris Brown. He back to his Yeah, man. Chris Brown took oh, home yeah. one. Stop, hey, yeah, stop hating on the kid. He Chris Brown, yeah, he was dancing his ass <laughs> on the <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm talking about on the steps, flipping, back flipping. Chris Brown, I mean. he, Chris Brown trying to hold it down. You know, we ain't got Michael Jackson, so he trying to bring another legacy yeah. back. He, you got the Oscars coming up, uh, and everybody is and talking about the help. Uh, oh, we yeah. already won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress. Did Beth did it win for Best Actress as well? I don't think so. I, I don't think. know, but it's, they both up right. for the Oscar for Best Actress, Best Supporting Actress. Mm. Moneyball is up yes. for uh, Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor with Jonah Hill. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Jonah Hill is yes. doing wow. his thing. Yes. Jonah Hill is yes. all over my TV. Man, I, all I, over the, from, the, from everything. The Oscars is great. Don't get me wrong. I love movies. Oh. I love movies to death. But they kind of watered them down with the 10 nominees yeah. for Best yeah. Picture. I agree. I agree. That, I mean, I agree. that's too... I know they want to recognize everybody they can possibly recognize, but 10... For the best movie, the yeah. decision can't come be that on, hard. Come on. But like I say, I still love the Oscars, man. They coming Wait, up. Wait, let me let me ask y'all one week. question. Who do y'all feel had the best? Mo what was the best movie of all of 2011? The best movie I've seen wow. in 2011. Uh, I'm gonna catch some flat for it, but it was the hell. I mean, it, I like. It, it, I, it, it was, I enjoyed it was the movie. movie. It was a good I, movie. I liked it. I saw it. I I wanted, when I it. saw it, I wanted to see it again. I can't say that about every movie. I love right. the hell. I mean, my my. I feel now they're making better movies. Before movies were slacking off, and everybody came out with 3D. Everything was in 3D. Oh, yeah. You could put anything. You could put John oh, on the toilet in 3D, off. and they're gonna make it a movie. Now so, I feel like they're doing better. It's starting to come back off. around. So I thank you for <laughs> that. Best, um, best <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moving on uh, to some sport news, John. How about your Patriots, man? I'm still sad, y'all. How about your Patriots? I'm still sad about my boy uh, Tom Brady. He's supposed to have five rings. Big up to New York. Well, it's New all, York. It's, it's all, all good, good, man. Eli yeah. Manning, I mean, Super Bowl champions in 2011-2012 season. Uh, basketball season is in the full swing. My man yeah. Kobe Bryant leading the league in scoring Absolutely. at 33 years old, 16-year veteran. Wait a minute. The, the Lakers ain't going that now. far this year. I just wanted to be known. They're not going that far this what? year. The Lakers are not going that far this year. They're doing a little something what? else. They're going to wrap the crowd and stuff. What? You're going to have a couple <laughs> games. You got an audience game. going crazy. But that ain't man. going that far, period. Moving, moving period. on. Uh, baseball Kobe. season Holly is coming man. up. Oh, oh, yeah, some more basketball news. Jeremy Lin, the Taiwanese Oh, guy from, my God. Did you see the kid? I said him. He's and nice. He's, He's nice. He's nice. But, uh, Ball. Uh, we got baseball season coming up, man. What them Braves going to do, I don't know. But you know the Yankees <laughs> is coming back oh, for God. another 27. Another fake Yankees. Coming man. back into it. And oh, the Braves. I'll be there. Spring training, I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to be there for the whole opening day weekend, April 13th through the 15th. I'm going to be there. I'm with, I'm with y'all. I can't leave y'all. Oh, now beef. the Hawks. This rap, this beef. Oh, yeah, comedy, Drake beefing. Uh, anyway, uh, it's 2012. <laughs> Lil Wayne sneak dissing. But it's, that's it's election time. Um, I'm not yeah. too big on he politics, but it's time for I do want president. Obama back in office. Rump I feel off. like he could do something. <laughs> Ron Paul, shout out to Ron Paul. That's my boy, Rock O'Jones. Yeah, I think it's Rock O'Jones. That's my guy right there. <laughs> but uh, what else we got here? Uh, we don't got anything else. What we um, got? Incest. 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 Oh, Morgan Freeman. Oh. Yeah. How do you marry your relatives? Yeah. I don't care if it's a step. If it, I don't give it. Step. Look. Granddaughter, Morgan. If that's true, I don't like you. No do more. better. We're not cool no more. Th my motto, who does that? Your, your acting is free. not that good. Like, come but, on. And then you left her. What does your family think of you? Come on. But uh, that's what's been going on so far in 2012 in the month of January, February. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for episode two of the Really Real Show. We coming got real soon. we got the the, 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 the hip hop bracket. Mark hip hop brackets. You ain't never seen that bracket in your life. Mark hip hop. Madden. Best hip hop artist of this century. Listen, yes. I need y'all yes. to help me out because these yes. two, I looked at their list. Get it was ridiculous. Get like, it. 
Dream Team Come list. On now. But we got that Who coming. Puts we got that coming. List. Episode Chopper? two. We got some some live guests in the panel. Yes. yes. Uh, we got. Shout out to D Rock the Colonel. They're gonna be coming through. Yes. So two the company yes. productions. Yes. Company yes. productions. Uh, like just stay tuned for the really rich really show. Again, thank you to Jay Z. J- Janelle. I'm sorry. Look, me not Janelle. 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 We're thinking about rap music, man. We're thinking about rap music. We got Janelle. rap on our mind. We're always having an excuse for oh, We stuff. got rap music Janelle, on our minds now. Jay Z. Thank you. Get Miss it right. Janelle, Miss Everything. Lovely, Happy Valentine's Day to all the beautiful ladies yeah. out there, including my beautiful lady and my baby beautiful And your co-host. Thank you, co-host. And our lovely co-host, Gail Bean. Co-host, thank you co-host. so much life to yes. the show. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Miss Gail Bean, thank, thank you so much for being with us for the season. Thank y'all for watching. But this season two. Oh, man. This season two is going to get bigger and better bigger on a really better. real show with John West. And Gail now, Bean. the lovely Gail Bean. Yes. We out. Peace. Cut.